In the field of signal processing, the most commonly used method is the Fourier transform, which decomposes a signal into a weighted sum of sine and cosine basis functions given by these equations. Although this is a powerful tool, it has three significant limitations. It can only decompose signals into sines and cosines, it cannot find where an event occurs within the signal, and lastly, it cannot be used on non-stationary signals where frequency or period may vary. Addressing these, my study entitled Applications of Wavelet-Based Signal Denoising on Astronomical and Medical Time Series Data with Dr. Reina Bel Reyes uses wavelet transform. Here, we pick a wavelet of a particular scale and slide this across the entire signal. At each time step, we multiply the wavelet and signal to get a coefficient. We then repeat the process at different scales. The wavelet transform equations are shown here, and the different morphologies available are shown here. In this study, we first apply wavelet transform on the noisy signal, then remove the coefficients below a computed threshold. We then reconstruct the signal based on the chosen coefficients to obtain the denoised output signal. In the test case for gravitational waves from core collapse supernovae, we obtain these results. On the left are the noisy input signal, the pure signal, and the denoised signal superimposed. To the right is the difference between the pure signal and the denoised signal we obtained. We see that the difference is very close to zero, which is the ideal case. This holds true even for signals embedded in more noise as shown here. The second test case used was an electrocardiogram signal, which also showed positive results. However, since this features a peak, we see that the difference increases when the signal-to-noise ratio increases. In summary, we discussed the limitations of the Fourier transform, applied wavelet transform on gravitational wave and ECG signals, and showed that the wavelet transform is able to recover signals embedded in various levels of noise. Thank you for listening. If you are interested in learning more about my research, please feel free to send me an email.